Today I want to talk about creating uh, interesting or different views for different types of customers. Uh, Sherwell comes obviously with very specific out-of-the-box designs for their forms and we generally see that our customers are happy with those forms with major with major changes to the actual aesthetic notwithstanding we don't really do a lot of changes around of formatting we add fields we move fields around but for the most part the the form the form state looks pretty much the same across the board uh, you're probably familiar with the separate view for the portal which allows you to create uh, forms for the portal versus the regular client and web client. Um, but you can also create uh, views for different people. Or if you want to create an entirely different view for your organization, you may be interested in just starting fresh with your own forms. Uh, I'm going to show you a demo form that uh, we've built here at Beyond 20 just as, a, a, as an example of what can be done uh, if you like to change the aesthetic of how your system works. Starting out here in the default view and the incident object, I can look at the basic incident form. And as you can see, uh, this is a basic 4.3 version incident form. Uh, all, of the, all, of the, all of the important pieces are shown up on the form here and can be utilized as you would generally expect to see. Now, if I wanted to change this form radically, rather than going and deleting all of this and starting all over, I could create a new form and then make or copy this form to a new form and then redo this form uh, in default. But maybe I want to maintain this and only want to provide a new form to a certain subset of my technicians. In that case, what I can do is I can create a custom view that actually will present an entirely different form in an entirely different format. And the way we do that is um, I will go ahead and get out of the incident form here. I'll just change to a new view that I've created called Demo. Now I've only extended uh, the incident object out to the demo view. Uh, all of the other objects will maintain the exact same behavior and forms as their uh, default view uh, analogs. But for incident, what I've done is I've created an entirely different form, an entirely different form arrangement. So what you'll see when I bring the form up is something that doesn't look anything like the standard out-of-the-box incident form. As you can see, I've done a lot of work here. I've moved things around. I've made this more of a top-down rather than side-to-side -side type form. I don't have the giant banner on the left anymore. Um, a lot of the data is uh, more compact. And we're not showing really large labels except for this large closed label for status. Uh, but I have a lot of this exact same functionality that I do uh, in the other, in the other uh, form. So what you can see here is I have uh, moved many of the fields around, changed, uh, changed their locations, added a few uh, bells and whistles here. Some of the color, coloring will change. I've actually added a corporate watermark uh, here in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, kind of nice if you want to sort of brand your service desk software. Um, we have uh, the way to select owners, ownership, and teams, but it's all more in kind of a form-based uh, form look. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like in the client uh, based on the role that I log in with. So here I am logged into the client as a service, with the service desk supervisor role. Now if I go and do a quick search on incidents, I'll get back all my stuff and let's say that I want to look at this incident. Now this is actually a service request in this case, but this is sort of the traditional, again, version 4.3 look with the orange color on the left. Uh, very, very sure well. This is how all of their objects essentially start in the major object. And you can see down here I have uh, all the same tabs that I normally would expect to see in my, uh, in my request, service request object. Now, let's just say that I want to see this other view, and what I've done is I've set it up so that the service desk role gets to see the other view that I created. What I do is I go ahead and just log out and switch roles. And since I am a member of the service desk, I can select that role. Now, if I go and I search through the incidents and I pull up that very same service request, you'll see I have a very different look and feel. There's my corporate watermark that actually follows is anchored, actually anchored to the lower right hand side of the form so it always ends up down here. 
as you can see, I have all sorts of various uh, form, form fields still filled out, all the same information, just in a very different aesthetic, different format. Uh, as you can see, I actually throw off the, uh, the VIP contact information. Uh, I can see that the response deadline has gone way, way past. Um, these sorts of things I can actually do via color in these titles, which gives me a little bit more of an offset. Um, and then down below, I also have all of my additional information uh, that I expect to see. So really what I wanted to emphasize here is a lot of these things are easy to manipulate and alter to fit your organization's needs.